Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything and the programs that you write. Today, you're going to create a story and make your character change the way they look. Here's an example. This is Pete, and he loves his new white shoes. He says, I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. What's going to happen in this story? Have you heard this story before? And Pete's going along, and he goes through some strawberries. Oh, what happened to Pete's new white shoes? They turned all red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He just kept going along, singing his song. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Pete's so cool. You like Pete's story? Pick a story of your own and make your character change the way they look. In this first scene, Pete has white shoes. And in these other scenes, Pete has red shoes. How can you change the way a character looks? We've learned from previous lessons that you can change the way a character looks with the paintbrush. But how can you change it right in the middle of your story? The secret is, in this first scene, this is one character and then the one with the red shoes is a completely different character. In all of my characters, I have some with blue shoes. I was going to make him step in some blueberries. I've got some Pete the Cats with no shoes on at all that I was practicing drawing with. Here's my pile of strawberries that I drew. Here's the button that I drew that makes you go to a new page. Let's look at the code for this story. When I hit the green flag, it's going to start these two pieces of code. It's going to make Pete go to the right at the same time that he jumps. And then it circles around and he jumps again. So he's going to go to the right and he's going to jump twice. Let's see what happens when I hit the green flag. So he jumped twice and he went to the right eight steps. And he said, I love my white shoes. And then it just stops until he gets an orange letter. How does he get an orange letter? When somebody clicks on this orange triangle. Let's look at the code for the orange triangle. It says, when somebody clicks on me or touches me, then send an orange letter. That's all this little triangle has to do. And when Pete sees that an orange letter has been sent to him, he keeps going to the right and jumping, and then he goes to scene two. And then it just goes to scene two. When you get to scene two, Pete's code says, go to the right and jump three times and just wait there until you get a red letter. And that's what the orange triangle does. It just sends a red letter to let you know to keep going with the code. When Pete sees the red letter, he says, I love my red shoes right here. And then he jumps off and goes to scene three. Let's go back and look at scene two again. So he jumps a couple times, moves to the right, but that would not make it go to scene three. Just moving over to the right will not make it go to scene three. The fact that I have scene three right here is what makes it go to scene three. Let's watch it one more time. Here's Pete the cat and his new shoes. We'll hit the green flag. I love my white shoes. There he goes. Now he has red shoes. 
And when we hit the orange triangle again, I love my red shoes. He's just a happy cat, whether he has red shoes or white shoes. The end. So let's start from the beginning. Click the plus to create a new project. Hold down on this and then hit the red X to get rid of it. And what do I want for a background? We'll have our background in the park. What do we want for a character? I'll hit the plus over there. Let's get this blue lizard. Oh, he's so big he looks almost like a dinosaur. So when we start, we'll make our blue lizard move to the right some. We need to add something here to give our lizard something to walk through. The way I did these strawberries, I spent a lot of time drawing a bunch of little circles. And then getting my bucket of paint and changing to red and then painting them all red. And we can make our lizard walk through the strawberries. So we could, let's go to the code for the lizard. We could just, see, well that's three. He needs more, we'll try six. See what that does. But what I want to happen in this story is for our lizard to turn red. So we need a red lizard. Can we change him to red? Let's see. There he is, now he's red. But now he's already red before he even goes through the strawberries. So that won't work for a good story. We need a blue lizard and a red lizard. Let's go get the blue lizard. I'm going to make him just wait. We'll start the red guy off right here. And he's got to start off invisible. All right, so this is the way the scene will start. And let's see what happens when we hit the green flag. Let's put an ending block on this code. And an ending block on this code. Just kind of cleaning our program up a little bit. So our story can be, there was this blue lizard walking in the park one day and he ran over a pile of strawberries and then he was a red lizard. Or he could be a chameleon that changes colors. Ooh, we could make him a green lizard here. And a red lizard when he's on the strawberries and then he changes back to green. I hold down on it and drag him to our scene and now I have another green lizard. This green lizard right now is invisible. Where is he? Right here. So let's make him back invisible. All right, now think about our story. When the red lizard gets to the end, we want him to turn green, but really he's gonna be going invisible. So we need to add going invisible to the end of his code. And for the second green one, we need to rename him lizard too. They can't both be lizard. So for lizard 2, 
He needs to just wait. And then become visible. Now, how long should he wait? We could send a message block, a letter, one of these letter colors, or we could just wait a certain amount of time, but we're going to have to figure out how long. Let me just make it up. 28, and then become visible. Let's see if that works. All right, reset everybody, and go. That worked. So our chameleon, our chameleon lizard is green on the grass. When he walks across the strawberries, he turns red. He gets back on the grass, he turns green again. Good job, lizard. Now I just made up that silly little story. You could use any book or any story that you want to do and make at least a couple copies of your character and change the way they look. If your story needs multiple scenes, then you can just click over here to get a new scene. You can change the scene. Move some things around so it looks like your lizard or your character or whoever it is walked around somewhere. So my scene two looks a little different than my scene one. And this is where my lizard's gonna walk to. Going back to scene one, I gotta make this lizard two go to the right sum. After he appears, he's gotta go to the right about three. Let me turn off that grid. Then it's gonna go to scene two. So I just need to go to the, my ending blocks and grab scene two. We don't need this one anymore. And then on scene two, I need my green lizard. A really fast way to get him is just hold on down on him and drag him over to scene two. That'll bring all his code and everything with him. We don't need all that really. He doesn't have to wait or become visible. But he is going to walk over. Let's make him walk over about six. And then end it. And up here I want it to say the end. That's the end of my little story. I'll make that a little bigger. Make it full screen and see if it works like we think. So green flag. He turns red. Then he turns green. He goes to the next scene and he says the end. That's the end of this lesson. Now it's your turn. Create a new project, draw a character or select it from some that's already there, and change the way they look within your story. Pick any story that you want or make something up. Pick a book or a show that you've seen and then use your words to tell the story. If you can make one character disappear and another one appear or change characters when you go to another scene so it looks like your character changed the way they look, then congratulations, you've mastered this lesson. This free coding lesson was provided by STEM in Games. Watch more lessons and keep practicing so you can create new worlds and games and make your ideas come to life. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.